Question 2.2. Write the coordinates of the point of intersection of the asymptotes of f. So what are asymptotes? Asymptotes are lines that the graph tends to but it never reaches. These red lines are the asymptotes. Lines that the, this hyperbola tends to but it never reaches. Now if we look at f of x, we find the vertical asymptote would be some x value. And we find it by asking what x value may we not have. Now we know that the, de uh, the denominator of a fraction, x plus 3 is the denominator, may not equal 0, which means that x may not equal negative 3. That means x equal to negative 3 will be the asymptote, the line that my graph tends to but it may never reach it. What about the horizontal asymptote? Well, the horizontal asymptote we find by saying what y value can we never have? So y is equal to f of x. So we'll look at f of x and we see f of f f of x consists of a fraction. Now we know that a fraction can never equal zero if the numerator is not equal to zero. So that's a 2. I'm going to divide 2 with something. No matter what I divide with, I will never have nothing. I'll always have 2 divided by something. So this will never be equal to zero. That means, but that's not my f of x. That's only a part of it. Okay, that's only that part. Okay, so that means that I must subtract a 2 on both sides minus 2 so that this side looks like f of x so now I see oh f of x will never be equal to negative 2 which means y will never be equal to negative 2 that means that my asymptote the line that my graph tends to but never reaches it will never reach negative 2 so that is my asymptote Okay. Now, if those two lines then cross, this x line that goes like that, and this y line that goes like that, if they cut each other, it will be at the point y equal to negative 2 and x equal to negative 3. So that the coordinate is... negative 3 for x and negative 2 for y. Now it says find the equation of the symmetry line of f in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So here we go, here we see that a symmetry line would be a line that goes through here so that it cuts the function into two parts that looks exactly the same in a mirror reflection that will work but also a line that passes through here okay so this line will have a gradient that is positive and actually the gradient will always be one that means this one that passes through this point will also be one but negative one so there's actually two gradients that will work and therefore two lines so we have y is equal to mx plus c so m can either be equal to 1 or m can equal negative 1 that means we either have y is equal to x plus c or we have y is equal to negative x plus c now we have only one more parameter to solve in either one of the two that means we can substitute any point on the curve. Which point will be on that symmetry line? Well, that symmetry line will pass through the intersection of my asymptotes. In other words, the one will be, uh, the y value will be negative 2 it, when the x value is negative 3 plus c. 
negative 2, negative, negative 3 plus c. So that we find here that c is either equal to 1 or c is going to equal negative 5. So we have two answers. y is equal to x plus 1 or y is equal to negative x minus 5. Let's choose any one of the two and put in the information they give me. Okay, we're going to, let's choose the negative one and that means we have y is equal to negative x plus, sorry, minus 5. Okay.